Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So I've often thought there's a great similarity between managing investment portfolios and the game of baseball. Let me explain. And this might be a great message or this might be a disaster, but let me let me give it a shot. Because what I've noticed is that in baseball, there are many times that a player will go out into the field and never get a ball hit to him. It might not be a pop-up, might not be a, you know, a ball that makes it through the infield. So a left fielder, for instance, might go out for five innings, stand there and get ready at every pitch to play and never be called on to play. Same thing with right fielders, first basements. Now, pitcher, we know, is always going to be throwing and the catcher is going to be catching. That, that we pretty much know. But if, in fact, and this is the point, that that left fielder never had a chance meaning a grounder or a pop-up, after five innings, should the left fielder go out for the next inning or should they just sit out and not go out there? Obviously, the left fielder is going to go out. Obviously, the same thing is going to happen with the second baseman if the second baseman for five innings in a row never got a chance. Same thing with investing. A properly managed portfolio should always have all the players out there ready to play. Because you never know when one's going to be called on. A bell doesn't go off at any point in time and say, hey, it's time now that managed futures is where all the money's going to start to go to. Although that's what's happened this year in that sector of the market. Or it's time to move over to large cap growth. Even though we go out and we talk about the markets and we talk about what we think is going to happen, right? We might overweight, meaning we might put a shift just like they do in baseball sometimes on the defensive side if they know where a hitter normally hits. But on the flip side of it, you must always have a portfolio prepared for any economic condition. Just like in baseball, they are always prepared just in case the ball, even if it hadn't been to left field, in eight innings, that left fielder is still going out there in the ninth inning. So that's why you must have many different types of investments. Just like in baseball, you have a first baseman whose skill set is very different than a shortstop. And a pitcher's skill set is very, very different than a catcher. Same with investing. You must have non-correlated assets because you never know when one's going to be called on. And the reason I wanted to point this out today is that everybody is just stocks, stocks, stocks. And I've done this 30 years. I mean, look at me, 30 years of this. And there's a lot of experience you know, that, you know, a lot of experiences that I've gone through. And just when you get so settled in and just so comfortable, things change. So make sure you have all your positions covered. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. Don't give up on some of these positions, even though they haven't been called on the play yet. Because at some point, that left fielder is going to get the call. And you're going to make sure, you really want to make sure you're prepared.